Hi everyone, we've recently been teaching our year four pupils how to answer fractions of a quantity question and we just thought we'd put together this quick video if you wanted to help them any more at home. So if you're helping at home, the first thing I want to make clear is the terminology that your child will be expected to use in school. Now with a fraction, we'd expect them to understand that the top number is called the numerator and that the bottom number of a fraction is called the denominator. Now these have specific roles in explaining to the child what the fraction is representing. The denominator is the most important one to start with, however, because this number is denoting how many equal parts the whole should be split into. For example, one quarter of a cake, you would expect the cake to be split into four equal parts. And if you look at the pictures that I've drawn here, this whole has been split into four equal parts. That's one of the most vital things to understand before you start working with fractions. Then what does the numerator tell us? The numerator simply tells us the number of those equal parts we need to represent. As you can see here, one part is shaded out of four equal parts in the whole. Same below in this set, one of the pieces are shaded out of the whole four equal pieces. So let's have a look at a simple example. Now this is what's known as a unit fraction. A unit fraction has one in the numerator space and it just means one of something. In this case we have one fifth. One fifth of 35. Now this is a style of answering this question which is very popular in schools at the moment and it's very visual and for that reason we like it a lot and it's the bar model. So the first thing we'd encourage the child to do is draw out one bar which is the whole amount and I would encourage the children straight away to label this whole amount as 35. This is our quantity. We have 35 and we're looking to find one fifth of this number. Now, thinking about what denominator shows us, this number here tells us how many equal parts we need to split this whole into. We need five equal parts. So the first step would be to split our bar into five equal parts, just like that. Now that we split our whole into five equal parts, we need to start thinking about what number could fill each gap. Well, it must be of the same value, and we can use division to help us solve this question. 35 divided into five equal parts equals what? And this is where times table facts are vital. 35 divided by five equals seven. So I fill in each box seven. How many fifths do I need? I need one fifth. So I'm going to label one of my fifths underneath. Therefore, one fifth of 35 is simply equal to seven. Now this works for any unit fraction, but you might be thinking that's really straightforward. There's just one step. Divide the whole by the denominator. 35 divided by five is seven. That's why your child is much more likely to receive a fraction, which is not a unit fraction, but instead a numerator that is bigger. For example, three fifths of 35. If this is the case, the steps are identical. It's just that this time, instead of finding one fifth at the end, we'll have to find three fifths. And three lots of seven is 21. Now that we understand the method, let's see how quickly we can solve this in a visual way, which is fantastic for new learning. Stick in our bar, one hole. Label the hole as 48. If the whole is 48, what do we need to split our whole into? We look at the fraction, the denominator is six. Six equal parts. Now that I've got six equal parts, how much must one of these six equal parts be equal to? 48 divided by six equals eight. Again, times table knowledge is vital. Let's just double check, eight times six, yep, is 48, and we're good to go. However, that is not our answer, we cannot just put eight. For in this question, the numerator is five. So I need five lots of eight. I'm going to put my bracket in. Five lots of eight. Five times eight is 40. Five sixths of 48 is 40. Now you might be thinking to yourself, there's a much quicker method to answer this and you'd be right. We can take 30 as our whole and divide by the denominator, D, D, and we get 10. And then we can times it by the top or the numerator, t, t. And this is a lovely mnemonic which does work and it does give us results. The answer is 20. 
dd tt divide by denominator times by the top however we are very keen that children know how to draw the bar model and show it visually and we're going to show you why now with a trickier type of question now you might be thinking this is very similar to the last question we did and you'd be right children would see this jump straight in two thirds of 30 divide by denominator times by the top and write in 20 and that would be the wrong answer we need to take it more slowly let's draw in our bars we have two thirds of blank now in this situation, we are not given the quantity. We do not know the total. It is a question mark. It is what we're trying to solve for. We are, however, still given the fraction, two thirds. Three is the denominator, so I split it into three equal parts. And I know that what two thirds of whatever this total is must be 30. So I'll be thinking to myself, how can I label two thirds in this diagram? Well, I can do my bracket across two of my thirds. I know it's equal to 30, and now I'm in a position to solve this trickier question. If I know that two thirds are 30, then one third must be half of 30, and I can start filling in my equal parts like this. And all of a sudden, it clicks. We have three thirds, three lots of 15, Therefore, the answer to this question is not 20 because it's been flipped around. The answer to this question, the quantity we're looking for, the total that's missing is 45. And the bar model is a superb way to see that visually. We hope you found this video super helpful if you're trying to solve fraction of a quantity questions. We've written down two problems here for you to have a go at. And if you get an answer, comment down below and we'll get back to you to see if you've got it right. But be warned, they are not the same answer.